Well, folks, look at this. You find me wearing one of my other hats, that of an officer in the Naval Reserve. But it does give me the opportunity today to share something absolutely unique with you. This is Southwark House, a beautiful example of Georgian architecture built around 1800. It's in Hampshire. And to be honest, let's face it, not unusual to find me standing outside a place like this. But it's fascinating, not because of its architectural merits, but because of what happened here. Witness to one of the greatest events in British history. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces supported by strong air forces began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. Well, it was back in the spring of 1944 that this place, Southwark House, was designated as the forward headquarters for the leader of the Allied effort in Europe, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, and of course his Allied colleagues. Admiral Ramsey and Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery. This is where they put the finishing touches to their plans for the biggest military operation in history, D-Day. Now, I first came here back in 1988 when I was 18, a potential young officer hoping to join the Royal Navy. And then it was HMS Dryad School of Naval Warfare. Now its role here has changed, but one thing that always stuck in my mind was this, the D-Day map. Come and have a look. This is an astonishing survivor that preserves that moment in time on the morning of the 6th of June 1944 when the Allied armies crossed the Channel and headed for the coast of Normandy down here. Now this map was made it is said by model makers from Chad Valley. It's made of plywood. Apparently they weren't allowed out of the camp until after D-Day had happened because they were some of the very few people who knew exactly where the invasion was going to land. The Allies could have picked almost any point on the French coast here. It was such a closely guarded secret, but Normandy is where General Eisenhower and his staff decided to make the biggest amphibious landing in history. Over 150,000 men carried in thousands of transports and ships, protected by hundreds of destroyers, dozens of battleships, and an air armada like no other, made landfall here in the early hours of the 6th of June. And the map here has been set to record that moment in time. The detail the map contains is absolutely fascinating, and it tells the story of the hundreds of ports that ran along the south coast of England and Wales, as you can see up there, from which thousands of men departed for this great undertaking. And they were to land here in Normandy on five beaches, Sword, Juno, Gold, Omaha, perhaps the most infamous of the lot, and Utah. This great allied army of Canadians, Americans, Brits, and wider Commonwealth forces stepping ashore, not knowing what the outcome of that great day would bring. But success lay at the end of it for them. Thank goodness. They hung on, developed the bridgehead, and then moved across the rest of Europe. By August, they'd liberated Paris. Nobody could have predicted that it would have fallen that quickly. But this is where it all began, this moment in time preserved on this map. And come and have a look at this. This is fascinating. We, of course, know that D-Day happened on the 6th of June, but it was scheduled for the 5th of June. The reason it was postponed was because the weather was atrocious. But it was here, in this building, that the decision was finally taken to go in a 24-hour window of improving weather. What a gamble Eisenhower and his staff took. But they were so keyed up, so ready to go. They knew that if they put it off, they'd have to wait another two weeks. And keeping this mass of troops secret from the Germans for that amount of time was going to be very, very difficult. They wanted to get on with it, and indeed they did. And it all happened right here. We often say in buildings like this, which are so imbued with a sense of history, what would we learn? What would we hear if the walls could talk? Well, here they really can. <laughs> 